China has launched an unprecedented mission to retrieve samples from the far side of the moon. The spacecraft called the Chang'e 6 lifted off from the southern island province of Hainan. It's expected to bring the samples back to Earth within two months. It's the latest advance in China's ambitious space exploration efforts, now competing with the United States. China already landed a rover on the far side in 2019, the first country to do so. Here's more on the Chinese moon mission. Chang'e 6 aims to collect lunar material from the far side of the moon and bring it back to Earth. It's a complex mission that will involve several robotic modules working together. The eight-metre-long spacecraft will first orbit the moon and then deploy a lander to the side that is never visible from Earth. It will target the South Pole Aitken Basin, the largest known impact crater in the solar system. Using a mechanical drill and scoop, the lander will collect two kilos of soil and rocks. An ascender module attached to the lander will blast back into lunar orbit and transfer the samples to the re-entry vehicle. If all goes well, it will carry the cargo safely back to Earth. Scientists hope the sample will reveal new information about the Moon's early evolution. Its far side is geologically different from the one we see from Earth. It has a thicker crust, and its surface rock has different chemical composition. Chang'e 6 also has instruments made in Europe on board. A spectrometer from Sweden will investigate the interaction between solar winds and the lunar surface. When solar winds sweep across the moon, they create an electric charge that can endanger astronauts and equipment. The effect is most pronounced on the crater edges in the polar regions. This research trip will pave the way for China's first crewed moon landing, which it hopes to achieve by 2030. Both the US and China want to establish bases at the moon's South Pole. Some incredible images there. For more on China's ambitious space program, Mu Tzu joins us from DW's Chinese service. Uh, can you tell us what China is hoping to achieve with this mission to the far side of the moon? Well, scientists already knew that the far side of the moon uh, looks very different to the near side of the moon. So this time, the Chang'e 6 mission should collect dusts and rocks sample from the far side and transport them back to the Earth for further analysis. And Chinese as well as international scientists choose the Aitken Basin near Luna South Pole area, which has had a lot of asteroid impacts and volcano eruptions over past billions of years. They could reveal the early history of Moon, maybe also of the Earth and our whole solar system. OK. Now, we have seen India, we've seen the US and Japan launch missions to the moon in recent years. Now we've got this major milestone for China. Can you give us a sense of how important space exploration is uh, to the Chinese leadership? Well, as you said, everyone, including the United States, India, Japan, they are all trying to get to the moon. And of course, China as an emerging superpower doesn't want to be left behind. So China has planned this mission to collect uh, dust and rock sample from far side of the moon. And in the next years, there will be also more complicated missions, including to build a permanent, permanent robotic station in South Pole area of moon. It, um, also, that we mentioned in the report that we saw before, we watched before, China also aims at sending astronauts to the moon around the year of 2030, which would not only be scientifically important, but also be a political prestige because, uh, of course, Chinese leadership want to show some national proudness. 
Okay, so a definite political aspect here. In, in back in 2019, uh, China pulled off a historic first soft landing on the far side of the moon with Chang'e 4, but that was only a one-way journey, wasn't it? And this is clearly far more ambitious. Yes, um, as you mentioned, in the year of 2019, China has already sent Chang'e 4 mission to the far side, and its moon rover is still working there today. And this time, Chang'e 6 mission, and which just launched today, one hour ago, is the first mission of mankind which collects rock samples from the far side of the moon. It is complicated because you cannot communicate directly between Earth and moon far side, which means several relay satellites are necessary. And of course, the rock samples must be carried back to the Earth again, and that means complicated orbit rendezvous above the moon. Mutsu from DW's Chinese service, thank you so much for those insights there. Thank you.